All right, hey there, Proxies. This is Prox right here, and guys, I am back here for episode two of the Super Mystery Dungeon Let's Play. Now, hopefully, you guys are having yourself a good Friday. You guys should also be seeing another Earthbound Let's Play happening out your way as well, too. Now, uh, there's just only maybe a few more days left until uh, I think literally Bowser's Fury and, uh, slash 3D World is going to be coming out uh, pretty soon. So uh, stay tuned for that on the channel. I will be doing that as a second Let's Play uh, throughout uh, uh, throughout our time. Uh, in uh, on our channel uh, for right now because right now we have a Pokemon Let's Play going on and then we're just going to do two other uh, normal Let's Plays on the channel which we're going to be doing Earthbound and also uh, Bowser's Fury as well so hopefully you guys will be interested on watching the uh, Bowser's Fury because I'm actually pretty excited about doing that because uh, can't wait till we actually go and try and see if we can uh, knock out uh, the, uh, the, the new Bowser that's going to be in that game so uh, let's just go ahead and hit save and continue and let's see what else that we got here coming up. So let's overwrite the uh, previous save data. Yes, of course. So I've been actually enjoying this game so far, even though that we're still at the beginning tutorial of this game. It actually seems uh, pretty nice. So I think we've done. Uh, I, I think we done. Lost the beam. We lost them, I reckon. Uh, Wooey, I sure am beat. But I can't believe that we got away from those troublemakers. Phew. Uh, concern it. Uh, you sure did drag me into a fine mess. Me having nothing to do with any of it. But I reckon that I could forgive you this, but this one time. But us being all right and all. Adios, friend. I'll be heading home now. I reckon that you ought to be careful too. On your way home too. All right. Well, I'll see you later, Nudsleaf, and thanks for all your help. So, uh, but then you're done carrying on about yourself being a human or of such. So that'll make you uh, from the human world. Well, that sure enough is hard to uh, pill a swallow, all right. But suppose I did believe you. Then what in the world are you going to be fixing to do now? Got no idea, huh? Hardly a surprise. Well, I can't pay. No, never mind. Uh, as where to? So as to where you're fixing to sleep tonight? It might be better to go and find some place. Yeah, unfortunately we don't really have a a campsite or anything. So good luck to you, Fred. Fare thee well. Well, good luck to you too, Nosleaf. Uh. Oh no. Oh, we're actually sad. Not concerned at all. Don't be looking at me with those the baby doll eyes. Why the baby might we come along and attack them again at any moment. I can't hardly leave no child here all alone in, in such condition. No, sir. Quickly, I'm, I'm plumbed out of options, but you could come to my place. Would you like to go to Dudley's house? Oh, of course. Yay, I reckon that we uh, might uh, ought to get moving. My village is just over yonder. Now it's just a fair bit of a walk, so I reckon they might be uh, better sick real close to me uh, if, if you don't want to if you don't want to get lost. All right. Well, at least we got somewhere to stay now, and so Prox ended up headed to the Nuzleaf Village together with him. Traveling down deep valleys and over rugged hills, camping be out, out beneath the stars when night fell upon them, until at long last, I guess we made it. So, oh, there it is. You can see it now. I reckon that we're finally here. Well, that looks like a charming town. So you see that there's a lake and that there is a little village on the shores where I live. Uh, scenery Village. Uh, we're nearly there there. I think we should uh, keep on pushing on. And Prox, once a human and now brought to this world as a Pokemon, with no memory of what had been left behind, came to Serene Village. To the village where Prox is destined to meet a certain Pokemon, well, by the name of Zap, who will become the partner of a lifetime in the adventures ahead. Well, this place actually looks really cool. I wonder what that big tree is going to be all about. That may probably be, like, uh, where, where we may probably have to get, like, all the jobs and everything from. I'm just assuming. I don't really know. Alright, so let's go and save. Let's do it. So here we go, chapter two is meeting Zap. I wonder how we're gonna be meeting him. But I wonder which place is gonna be uh is gonna be a place where we can actually get some items or whatnot. I reckon that we're here. Yeah, this here is my house. Looks pretty nice. So it's this way. So here you are. You can bunk down in this room for now. May not be much, but you could take this as you will. And well, as for the rest of it, uh, what do you reckon that you're gonna do? I can't help but wondering why Beam were coming after you like that. 
but all the wonder, uh, but all the wonder in the world won't uh, give me nothing but a headache. We could get uh, some uh, answers if your memory ever comes back. Well, until then, you can just stay here. Sound good? I want to tell other uh, other folks in the village about being no. I might scare them off. And less. Uh, that's right. You're about school age from the looks of you. So I reckon that you should get to enroll in the village school. People uh, wonder even more about you if you aren't going to school at your age. So let's just agree that you'll go to school for the time being. All right. I reckon I'll get uh, that all taken care of right away. So don't. Uh, so don't you just stick one toe out outside uh, outside this house until I get back. You hear? Okay. You hear? You're not going outside. Not even by a mistake or anything. Eh. Well. Okay, I guess we're done here. Whoa. Well, what's that noise? Whoa, that's one scary shadow. Uh, there's something outside. Could it be those beams? I thought I lost them once and for all, but... Uh... This is not good. Should we actually go outside? I don't know. Let's just do it. Uh, I don't see anyone out here, but... I can't let my guard down. I'm not careful then. Oh, there's Zap. Pikachu is just so adorable. I knew it. Ah, I knew my eyes that weren't playing tricks on me. I totally saw you inside Mr. Nuzley's just now. Where are you from? What's your name? Uh, well, my name is... Uh, I'm Zap. I live right nearby with my uh, old pops. That's my house right there. So where are you from? You're not seriously Mr. Nuzley's kid or anything, are you? Uh, like, that could ever happen. Alright, but uh, this is your first time here, isn't it? In that case, I'll show you around the place. Come on. So, uh, what did you say that your name was? Or, uh, wait, did I ask that already? I did ask you, did I? So I guess because she was just overexcited. So I see that you're a uh, proc, huh? Sorry about that, I went and asked uh, and never gave, gave a chance to answer. Am I annoying? Uh, you're totally thinking about how annoying I am right now, yeah? Well, quit it, jeez. Give me a break, uh, you big mill tank. Uh, well, see, what I did there, a little joke uh, with the mill tank. Yeah. <laughs> Which that leads us to, uh, here she is, Serene Village, and her heart is the plaza here. This is pretty nice. So the Cuckoo and Mart is still here, is still a thing in this game. So I may not look like much, but we've got most of the basic facilities here. So over there you got your deposit box, you can deposit your items, uh, uh with, uh, items for the P in there, and take them out again later, so for the Poke Money. And then there's some cookware shop, but you can buy all sorts of items there. It's probably too much to take it all out at once, so I'll tell you about each facility in turn. So let's see to start off with what we got. So there you are, Zap. Lawnberry. So this is where you've been. Now you're the one who uh, tramped all over my lotus ponds, aren't you? Uh, it wasn't like that. I was just trying to have a little adventure. Zap, stop right there. Uh, gah, and hippo, hippo potatoes. Are uh, you... You're not the, the one that went into my cave, aren't you? And that's more, uh, you took the treasure that I had hidden inside, did you? Uh, no, no, I was just exploring a dungeon. I happened to, uh, well, you know how it is. You gotta have a reward after clearing a dungeon, right? Well, start right there, Zap. Uh, Pops. Oh, well, man, uh, Caracosta. Uh, this is where you've been, uh, luring child. What about your chores back home, huh? Playing hooky again to wander around? No, Pops, I have a real re reason this time, and I know that you've been snacking on the orange berries from my field again. I have not. You have. I have not. Uh, I want the truth for you, child. Yeah, I, I did eat them, and they were delicious. <laughs> hey, Zap, I see you over there. Everybody, Zap's been sighted. Ah. Don't you dare run, we'll catch you. We're coming for you. Oh, my lord. Uh... I think we should probably do something about that. What in the world did I just witness? Okay, I ended up left behind, but since I'm here anyways, I might as well have a look around. Yeah, that's what we should probably do. So when you're in town or village, you can uh, save your game by just going into the X menu. So the dungeon, you can also use an item known as the progress device to save your game. Oh, okay, cool. So, oh, customer, welcome, welcome. Oh, wow, wow. They actually have, like, the same exact music of, like, uh, back in the old school, uh, mystery dungeon game, but it's like kind of revamped a little bit. So look to the calculator shop. Uh, how may I help you? Let's see what you got. So we actually have 26 pokey dollars, but we don't really have enough to literally do everything. Tiny virus, jeez, it's like 180. 
Wow, progress device. Use the enables to save your adventure in a dungeon. I may probably want to, like, probably save up my money for that, because I don't know if that's going to be, like, a continuous item or not. Uh, you guys can let me know, like, in the in the comments down below, because, like, there's going to probably be, like, some new items that I may probably have never even seen before, because this is my first time, like, playing Super Mystery Dungeon, so... Let's just buy on an apple for right now, just to help us out in a dungeon or something. So what else do we got over here? Hmm, so what's going on over there? Now, uh, what uh, Gumi did? Yeah, well, he insisted on going. Uh, no more excuses, Shelmet. Tell me the truth. You, you and Panchamp pushed him into this, didn't you? Uh, that's not fair, dearly. He's the one who said that he wanted to go. How can you stand there to blame us? Quite easily. You're the ones who are always teasing poor Gumi after all. Someday that you're going to go too far and then it'll be too late for stories then. Uh, I know that. I uh, No need to fuss so much. You're going to show me the way there. Right now. So I guess we're going to another mystery dungeon? I don't know yet. But those kids, they must live here in, in the village too, huh? I wonder what's going on. They seem pretty tense about it, something. We've got a few other uh, ways to explore around as well too. Okay, so I guess we actually do have to follow where they're going. I can't help but wonder where those kids are. Will you go after the children? Uh, you know what? Uh, hold on. Maybe not yet. Let's just do a little bit more exploring, because because like I think we may probably get ourselves into a dungeon, and I don't really feel like doing that right now. So let's see what else we got. We also got Halucha over here. So you, child. You're a child, aren't you? It's obvious to me at glance, but my hobby is teaching useful moves to little children. hi yeah. So sadly, I have uh, been hearing those cheers from my little Halucha maniacs out there. So which is why I can't uh, open up my shop just now. Sorry. I'll make sure to open up the shop once I feel I love my little Halucha maniacs. Oh my goodness. I guess, like, this Halucha is kind of like Hulk Hogan, because, like, w what I heard about the Halucha Maniacs was kind of like the Hulk Maniacs. <laughs> uh, so I guess, uh, we also got ourselves a little bit of a store down here. What's this? Oh, this is the Kangaskhan uh, storage system. Oh, you seem to be a new face around here, my child. Is this your first time visiting our village? There's some other Pokemon out here. Hey, there's Bayleaf. Come on, uh, we can do this. So I wonder what else is in here. I guess that's about it. Oh, there's an Eevee. I'll do my best too. You do too. Alright, well, you know what? I guess what I'll do right now is just kind of end off this episode uh, for the time being. So uh, don't forget to leave a comment, like, also subscribe to the channel if you're new. I think what we're going to do for the next one, guys, is that we're going to go and head on down this way to where the dealing and the Shellman are. Because I'm pretty much certain that I think we got ourselves another mystery dungeon to actually go into. Because we may probably have to kind of rescue them or something at some point. But uh, I'll see you guys then. And... Peace.